If you have wondered how can I conduct effective pattern searches on eSpaceNet, you have found the right video. Hello, my name is Dilshair Singh, an IP analyst at Intellectual Property Ontario, and today I'm going to guide you through the process of conducting a pattern search on eSpaceNet. eSpaceNet is a freely available pattern database with worldwide coverage provided by European Patent Organization. eSpaceNet ranks amongst the largest patent collection databases and incorporates in Paddock and DogDB data, forming the foundation of many proprietary patent databases. eSpaceNet recently received a fresh makeover and you can access it by clicking the link provided in the description below. To start with the tutorial, let's fire up eSpaceNet. You will be welcomed by a simple search page with a smart search tool at the top. You can almost input anything here, from numbers to text and even complex query syntax to quickly execute a search. For this tutorial, I will be focusing on the advanced search option located here. Click on the toggle button to enable the advanced search. This opens up a new form on my left. Let's take a closer look. Here. You will see multiple grey boxes. In the first box, you can find two pattern fields, title and title or abstract. In the second one, there are other fields like publication number, application number and so on. You can add or remove these boxes as per your requirements. Before starting with the search, let us streamline things by removing extra grey boxes. Simply click on the X button next to the plus field option. Let us just keep the first one. Now for this tutorial, let's imagine a scenario where a company is developing an image segmentation algorithm using machine learning. The company is familiar with the market landscape and believes Siemens, Samsung and Philips to be its close competitors with similar tech. There are multiple ways to approach the search. A basic approach would be to look for the keywords like image, segmentation, and machine learning in the title, abstract, and claims fields. Returning to the search form, note that these two empty text fields are connected by an AND operator. If I add any more fields to this by using the plus field button, the new field will also have an AND connector. To start the search, click on the first drop down and select text fields and then choose title, abstract or claims. Enter image in the adjacent text box. Some patents might use the plural form images. To capture search documents, we can employ wildcards. To find a suitable wildcard, click on the help in the navigation bar above and then navigate to searching and query syntax. Click on the first option and refer to the description below. It appears that the question mark would be the most suitable choice. Let us return and enter image question mark in our form field. Now in the second field, let us again choose title, abstract or claims as search field and input segment star keyword in the adjacent box. The wildcard asterisk or star shall capture words like segmentation, segmenting, segments, etc. in addition to the keyword segment. You can put the keywords for machine learning in the third form field. Again, choose title, abstract or claims from the drop down. Now to put the words machine and learning in close proximity, you must choose a proximity operator from the drop down found next to title, abstract or claims. This action will create two new form fields linked by a proximity operator. As seen here, enter machine in the first one and learning in the second one. You can click on this drop down words away from and choose appears before to capture documents that feature machine learning as a phrase. To narrow the search down to patents assigned to either Siemens, Samsung or Philips, Add another field using the plus field button located at the top. Before that, let us remove this extra form field at the bottom. 
from the patents fields drop down choose names then applicant to include the multiple company names in your query click on group to create two subfields with or operator in between click plus field once more to add the third one let's populate these fields with siemens samsung and philips now the query is ready and you can go ahead and click on search the results are visible on the right side of the form so far what you have done is called keyword based searching you may have realized that there are a multitude of ways to mention machine learning to tackle this you use classification codes for patents the european patent organization has created cooperative patent classification codes or cpc codes for short these codes are assigned to each patent or publication based on its pertinence to various technology areas now let us see how you can find cpc codes for machine learning click on the classification search option in the top navigation bar and it will open up the cpc code search type in machine learning in the search box and then hit search the first code g06n20 pertains to machine learning note it down somewhere and go back to your search results from the keyword search by clicking on results enable advanced search again to display the search form now go ahead and remove the search box for machine learning we will be applying the cpc code instead of keywords for machine learning later on hit search once again to rerun the query to apply the cpc code click on filter toggle button in the navigation bar choose cpc main groups and type g06n20 select the class and hit apply the search results get updated to reveal the documents that are most closely related to machine learning this is how advanced search is conducted on eSpaceNet you can explore more options on the help page and use this as a starting point to create even more complex queries to gain more information and additional support feel free to reach out to us watch our youtube video titled how can i get in touch with intellectual property ontario to learn how thank you for watching if you found this video helpful like subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments below